Hopefully they will enjoy the Linux gaming nonsense. How long does it take you to write the word John? And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly show to cover us the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. How's everyone? I'm Vin Stone here at LGC Actual Switch in the Bits in our little Linux powered studio, joined every week by It's Not a Moose. It's not a man. It's a Jordan Svang. Look at him. He's terrifying. And Britannia's <laughs> favorite elf, Pedro Mateus. Definitely don't have the point of ears for that. No. I, I don't know. Your profile picture <laughs> says otherwise. I mean, I mean, you, you got the little elf shoes for it yeah. with the little jingle bells near the end. I'm just always saying, walking man. around going ding, 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 at, ding, at ding. At some point, I just people, like that people are going to start drawing conclusions. OC. Like, oh. I, I've also seen you in a tree baking cookies, so don't you lie to me. Twice. <laughs> Don't embrace it, Pedro. Quit fighting your nature. Also, get me some cookies. I'm hungry. Hey, hold on. I need to go hug a tree. Uh, so before we get started, we like playing uh, the what What have you been up to and uh, all that fun stuff. And hey, Jordan, you had a couple of adventures. You got all kind of adventures, man. Tuesday's oh. going to be like FU adventure time, too. Oh, man. Yeah. The, the, the paperwork for the new house is finalized. So been dealing with that all week. I finished my D&D campaign on Monday. So that's a massive weight off my shoulder. Now I can go Play start. It? No, I'm no, It's like it's done. They, they, they oh. I failed. My, my players survived the final boss. Was that bad? No, I mean they 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 played it smartly. They set up. I gave them I gave them a barrier to flow, handle the flow control of enemies, and they used it properly. So I can't really fault them for doing the thing I set up. So there's that. Um, so now I got to plan the next one, and yeah, next week is gonna be Jesus fucking Christ. I'm I just want it to be over. I want I want to, I want to shrivel up into a little raisin after I'm done and just die. Oh. You had fun at the bank, though, didn't you? Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, you know what? Save, save that one for the pre, okay. pre-super shows. All right. Yeah. All right. Tune in. That's for patrons. <laughs> Pedro, as always, uh, terribly mysterious. Don't let anyone know what's going on in your life. Because nothing major has been going on in my life. I, I got new secondhand headphones that that there's the <laughs> the uh akg k240 mark yeah, twos all right yeah yeah uh Beats they, um uh, they're not ven said oh yeah no they they suck for music uh the their studio monitors their their music is just going to sound bad with it it's like i i like music because um they're it's they're not massively overdriving the bass like every other uh, set of headphones out there right now. So I like how this sounds. I do. I really okay. do. <laughs> uh, the one complaint that I have is that the uh, little ear pads are smaller than the Corsair HS50 headset that I had. So my ears will have to get used to just being clipped slightly at the bottom here. But yeah. <laughs> well, remember to stay out of the champagne dumbo. I'm just saying, dude, it's those elf ears, man, <laughs> that you deny having. <laughs> yeah, but it's not the tip. It's the bottom. <laughs> it's, just the tip. It's, it's just it's the tip. Just to see how it feels. So. <laughs> man. So we are doing another experiment with audio this week. As always, I'm uh, playing around with Sonobus again. Because I think I found a way to stop it from, like, causing, yeah, causing these boxes to like seize, <laughs> which you know uh, is entertaining. Is that is um, it, it, it can be um, you know seizure everywhere. I'm like ah, I gotta go back and edit that. So still, Jack Trip's not out of the question. But if I get this working, I'm gonna slam it all onto the Raspberry Pi as its own dedicated audio processing box and uh, that's one of the things i was playing around this week i bought that ridiculous raspberry pi case that pedro and i have made fun on on multiple occasions the argon the doorstop. <laughs> yeah the argon with like the usb dual wielding on the back to plug it in to put the uh nvme with m.2 ssd M. Two, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> also bought one of those uh, those are ridiculous it was like 25 bucks for 150 gigs I'm like, all right I'm gonna, yeah like, might as well <laughs> Any any like NVMe or SATA is just super cheap. You think that it's going to cost more because we've been sort of 
Yeah, it's it's faster. It should be worth more money, but it's like a five dollar difference usually. Yeah, it's like SATA six. And, well, it, right up until like I am still waiting. I, I check once a week um, for like the sub two hundred dollar two terabyte NVMe, right. which I desperately. I'm like, come on. Every everyone wants that. <laughs> it it's principle. It's kind of like the um, I think thirty sixties man. You like again. It's not going to be a weekly thing, but also Dynafire with your uh, $550 3060s, which sadly are incredibly reasonable compared to scalper pricing. I'm like, man, mm-hmm. that's crazy. <laughs> uh, overclock the pie. Been doing that this week. Waiting for the new case. Um, got it at two gigahertz. I, I'd call that a business overclock. It, it seems to happily run that. It's not overheating. Overclock the uh, GPU as well. I don't know why it's headless, but hey, apparently that controls IO. And, um, Oh, I'm also living that DM free life. I, I don't know why it bugs me so much, but I always get like random DMs and Pedro, you'll back up. You never see him on Twitter. You just don't No, because they go into that <laughs> other folder and maybe once every <laughs> six months you'll see. Oh, wow. <laughs> How long has that been there? Oops. <laughs> yeah, that would have been well, handy to know about the show. <laughs> we could have had you on, to do, but apparently your game launched six months ago. Oh yeah! Oh, oh, well. you, you, use our contact form. We have one on the site. That's the best way to get in touch. That's with how us. you're gonna get. I, I got tired of saying that, so I disabled DMs on Twitter. I've disabled DMs on Discord. Like at reply me, brah, and we can get it done. So no. or use our contact form if you got something you don't want out in the public. Which I don't think anybody's ever sent me anything. They wanted it in the public. So yeah, that's the best way to do that. But. You can the horse still, doesn't have fingers. No, but the horse is ready and open for DM business. He wants some DMs, but he doesn't think yeah. DM stands for direct messages. No, it stands for something very, very different. Then he wants you to slide into them. It's very gelatinous. It's the Steam Optics. There he goes. We got to get right into it because the <laughs> FBI is the first thing you think about when I mentioned Counter-Strike. Maybe it isn't, but it should be because they're getting involved with this, man. Because anytime you have uh, things that people gamble on, money gets involved, people are going to start throwing matches. Now, Jordan, <laughs> you you go ahead and give your favorite quote out of this. My my, my favorite quote is the, the, the guy who's running the investigation is like, well, the first part we're going to deal with very quickly because... Basically, we're dealing with idiots. Mm-hmm. I, th- so, yeah, the, the, the moral of the story here, guys, don't bet on yourself in a Counter-Strike match and then throw the match because it's real easy to find out if, you know, you're throwing matches. Also, maybe don't make some deals with Marcellus Wallace. I think that's just a good Probably, idea in general. Yeah, you know, the commissioner said, hey, you know, <laughs> it, it, they're on a trail of a relatively small but significant group of players, like the, the, apparently the dumbest of dumb. Like, we don't have to work hard to get these and it'll kind of look good because having solved all other crimes, the FBI is now focused on this is just for North America apparently 35 Australian pros were sanctioned in January for breaching the yeah, 35 rules. professional CSGO players yeah. in Australia yeah. alone okay all I mean, of them. you're looking at about three times that in the US at least <laughs> possibly I don't, I don't know what goes into being a pro CSGO player but you got to think about it like this uh We've already had reports like Valve was dealing with it in Dota tournament. People that had to get together in meat space with cameras on them were finding ways to cheat and throw matches. Yeah. So, we're doing it remote. Oh, yeah. And if you look at those kinds of events like the Dota Internationals and whatnot, that has a lot of money in that. And all of the money that was being made on the side with people betting. Yeah, that the esports went unchecked on those kinds of uh, markets for years. So it was kind of inevitable that well, this would start happening. <laughs> sem- semi unrelated, but I was, I, was, I was watching another uh, YouTube video about like uh, the uh, Olympic anti doping stuff, and it's very much the same thing. Like, mm-hmm. um, like at any level, like do not believe that anyone at the high level of anything is not corrupt, is not doing drugs, is not cheating, because it's all about what you can get away with. And, the, and yeah, that, crime that's, is a thing of opportunity more than anything yeah. else. <laughs> Ab- absolutely. So I mean, the, the, there's also apparently some legal problems because every state in the U.S. Yeah. has like a different rule regarding like betting on yourself. So there, <laughs> this is why the FBI is involved. But yeah, it's it's. 
getting sorted, it seems. You'll know what's up if, like, the next tournament's like, it's going to take place in Nebraska. Like, isn't that yeah. shut up? Nebraska, <laughs> the best place for CSGO tournaments. Like, <laughs> Wait, it's taking place in Florida, because apparently anything goes in Florida. <laughs> Florida Man, CSGO edition. Oh, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, no. GE, man. Yeah, there's a brand new version of GT GE. They are really, really hammering on this. They are trying to get MF Plat working. They got some progress. Um, Mortal Kombat 11 is working now pretty well, except if you try to like skip a cutscene, then the game will crash. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, uh, Sea of Thieves won't crash either. That one was actually working on vanilla Proton, uh, so that regression got nixed. Um, there's still a bunch of games that are broken. They're still hammering away at it. Um, yeah, uh, Red Dead Redemption Online works now. GTA Five works okay now. Evil Genius Two kind of works. It's it's th- th- this is a really large set of changes being put in here because it's all the MF Plat stuff plus a new major version of Wine. So things things are breaking, uh, and they're getting resolved relatively quickly. I, I'm I'm happy to see it. Yeah, and the uh, full screen hack is back. Yay! What is finally? That? Seriously, that th- means nothing th- to me. Uh, uh, you know how wine, um, well, proton, regular proton hit when you doesn't because my monitor just flip the hell out. Yes, okay, it yeah. doesn't uh, actually change the resolution of your monitor. It just stretches a window to fill the available space, uh-huh. like it should be doing because we're dealing with Linux and X. That's how things should be going. But uh, yeah, uh, proton G disable that. So it did the wine thing of actually trying to emulate what Windows does and change the monitor resolution, which caused all the other monitors in the same X session to go, hold on a second. <gasps> hold my yeah. pixels. So that, 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 that's back and that's amazing. Thank you. Uh, that was needed. And um, the mouse stuttering fix that he mentions, that was also the one fix that was introduced in uh, the base version of Proton 6.3-2. That, you know, unexpected as it was, I did notice a difference, especially with the uh, outward. If I was playing with the mouse after about an hour, Mouse movement wasn't smooth. There would be like jumping and skipping. That actually fixed it. That very nice. I, I wonder if they job. fixed the random <laughs> auto run issue that I was experiencing in a game where you don't have to really worry about movement so much. It's called Mirror's Edge. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the whole point of it. Yeah. I, <laughs> twice. Proton Experimental is like, you're running now. Like, okay. <laughs> we'll just wait this out. That's always okay. good news. I'm, I'm glad to see that. Um, bunch of version bumps and all the fun stuff. But sometimes there comes a uh, point in a developer's life where you just want to brace the community and Not say, do it anymore. fuck it, I'm out. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, well, uh, the developer of Vector, that's uh, V-E-C-T-E-R, um, is decided you know what i'm 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 retiring from game dev uh it's uh it's been a fun ride uh he shows a Two gif years. of how the game yeah uh of how the game originally started it was just a floating Brick uh, simulator parallel on a track and away you go and then uh the game vector is available it's on steam it's free it's completely free you do have a donato package that you can get to uh help fund it but kind of doesn't the point is not there anymore because the developer said yeah no i I, i'm done so i mean the the game seems like pretty feature complete anyways uh he said he's gonna be back for he's he's gonna gonna be back for bug fixes if like things get horribly broken and there's enough gas in the tank to run the online leaderboard for about five years so it's not it's not going anywhere it's just kind of that that's it what what you see is what you get um i mean and i mean it's it's not like he charged people like 50 dollars for a game and then abandoned it right like it was always a free game um it's it's always sad to see when developers sort of lose the passion but that's kind of the nature of these hobby projects. And, they, yeah, they hundred percent want that, and it's a beautiful thing to see. This, you know, a free game, whatever. But he didn't, he didn't know anybody this at all. Like, yeah, how, how many mm-hmm. paid games, or like especially early access games that we can just name off, were just ghost. Yep. Yeah, never heard from him again. Legends of Ethereum. 
Dragon. <laughs> Dragon the game. Oh my god. Yeah. Earth 20 something something something. I have uh, a copy of that. Developers sent me a copy of that. that yeah. Thank you. Sent us all a copy of yeah. that. We still have it. And then lied somewhere. to us. And he said, oh, I accidentally <laughs> sent you the Windows only Steam keys. Like, oh. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Neon wings. Let's, let's keep the uh, air Neon racing. Neon wing. Yeah, mm-hmm. we you this this might seem a little familiar to you because you know back in episode four hundred thirty seven we you looked that up. I did. Good on you, I, man. Yeah, I, I I searched. I I typed in neon wings in Google Docs and saw saw where where it showed up. Uh, yeah, back in episode four thirty seven, we suggested that maybe if they wanted people to buy this game, they should implement some online multiplayer. And it seems like they listened. So right now they are testing four man uh, online co op. They're saying they're hoping once it stabilizes to increase it to six. But for now, they just want to get four hammered out. Yeah, and and that's kind of it. Uh, so you know, here here now people have a reason to buy this game so that they can play it with Yay. their friends. <laughs> because like I don't I don't know what's the point of a racing game where you just have to play on your own forever. It doesn't really seem at, at least especially in this day and age. Maybe for like you know, what your Porsche Max on your Turbo Graphics or whatever when there was no internet, but now we have internet, right? <laughs> Yeah, and uh, the the one thing I remember bringing about about this game is how stiff the uh, ships yeah, yeah, yeah. look when you steer. Uh, it's like, like really that, 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 that feels like there's some physics missing there. Oh, uh, there's a bit, a little bit, in the whole physics just missing. Just a bit. Like, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no hate. I bought the game. I kicked him some coin i'm like hey i'll support you uh not terribly expensive too it, so yeah. yeah i got like three minutes into it i'm like that's a nice tech demo you have here i'll keep it and so <laughs> went back gave it a revisit the tech demo now has partial multiplayer kind of yeah all right progress nice okay indeed yeah. <laughs> i will give it that i was excited to see this because uh old old fong and myself uh we had ourselves a little playthrough of Streets of Rage 4. Multiplayer. Yes. Online, we fell out of an elevator like 11 times. It was kind of brilliant. And mm-hmm. um, during the entire we- playthrough, during the entire playthrough, Jordan was like, oh, man, uh, cop lady, I wish she'd beat me up. And I was <laughs> yeah. Like, really? And he's like, yeah. beat me up, cop lady, please. Estelle. And uh- Oh man, I, I love to see, you love to see it. Look look at that lady. I just want her to crush my head between my between her thighs like oh man. But yeah, no, they they added a new playable character with us. They added uh they added a bunch more levels. I think yeah, we we after we're done doom, we should probably take a crack at this once this is once, yeah, it, once I think it's a like contractual crap even. Yeah. Yeah. At, <laughs> at at this point. So yeah, I I'm looking forward to that. Uh I mean it it, it was fun enough and like I, I'm not one of those people. That's to, is, is this Star Wars now? Is <laughs> like some dude gonna be it's come Star out and be Wars like, ah, sword yeah. swordfish <laughs> weapons, lightsabers, feet tornadoes. I mean, oh, what? and then you get to enter the Matrix. Yeah. Oh, and go to hell. Excellent. I <laughs> come on. Why not? I mean, you can. I don't. I don't have a timestamp, but yeah, you can straight up uh, use a uh, Marlin as a. Uh, yeah, I, I saw that. That was pretty good. Is that it? Uh, guitars. I, well, I guess the the lady has the guitar as our special. Fine. What's her name? Yeah, yes, yeah. mm-hmm. that's great. Did they tell us when this is coming out? Uh, stay tuned. No, stay tuned. I mean, to be fair, previously all we knew about it was there was a SteamDB entry for it. So, right. hey, it's some information is better than <laughs> zero. Yeah, it, it is actual news, not just the SteamDB yeah. entry. <laughs> they, they filled in a few blinks, but they didn't give us a. Uh, they gave us a what, not a win. And mm-hmm, I mean, it looks fun. I mean, it's a fun enough game. I agree with you, Jordan. I mean, it's something you can sit back, have a conversation and just smash your way through. And mm-hmm. of course, there's the there's the absolute other level. I'm like, you guys are playing it all wrong. You should, yeah, I'm sorry. We were too busy having fun. Fuck off. No, uh, games aren't supposed to be fun, Ben. They're I supposed know. to be. You're supposed to be good. At you're, games. Supposed, you're not supposed to have fun. Yeah, you're supposed to obsess over it to the point where it doesn't. It can't possibly be fun anymore. Well, you might be sitting back going, man, you know what? I don't care. At least you quit talking about floaty spaceship racing games. You'd be wrong. Uh-huh, <laughs> that's what you think. This week, this week's episode of Linux Gamecast Weekly is brought to you by 
anti-gravitational spaceship racing games. I was going to say the letter F. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it is... um, it is another one. Uh, this one is called Metric Racer. Uh, the as, metric, as, as opposed uh, to uh, for, yeah, as opposed to uh, freaking for long Fortnite Foot racer, racer or Im- Imperial Racer. <laughs> yeah, no, I want, the, racer. I want to see what the Imperial Scum Racer would look like, and I did very much like the uh, the Wipeout uh, games. Uh, I played twenty ninety seven a lot on the Saturn, like a lot, a lot to the point where I knew how to play the Piranha uh, ship so well but yeah the um i have yet to find a game of all the ones we've tried and we've tried quite a few uh that feels that has the same physics the same weight but the ships are still stupidly fast and they feel very weighty as they go along maybe this one will do it i expect it to or hope it will uh it's currently in early access it needs the mono so it's what unity probably yes Right. Y- Unity or mono game or something. So it it doesn't say it doesn't say multiplayer on the screen. The trailer implies that there is, but there's no there's nothing in the actual text. Yeah, currently uh, there but, isn't any. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Haven't you heard? Remote play. Everything's multiplayer. Hi, I'm, I'm <laughs> Valve. Here's yeah. a sale. I, I don't I don't know. I, I I was joking about it earlier, but how how are you able to sell a racing game in 2021 without multiplayer anymore? Lack like, of foresight. Well, I, th- I think that the the real answer is you don't, right? <laughs> Some people, yeah, the the I real guess. answer is uh, I don't want to I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> I like <laughs> online multiplayer. We at nauseum have been on about this, and yeah, we we all like couch multiplayer for us is a non-option because of a couple of thousand kilometers between all of us. Um, mm. Hello, I'm across the world here. Yeah, it's in a little <laughs> pond. And I, 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 have, I have people I can I can conscript at certain times, but it doesn't yeah. work for every game. And you have like, to yeah. wrangle human beings. But mm-hmm. we, we didn't do a victory lap because no one would want to do a victory lap because of the cause, but we definitely had a moment where we walked out during this lockdown pandemic for the past year and went, hold your song. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. and I mean, like that's not to say that's not to say that there's no place for single player games like Strider's trying to imply that we're saying. Yeah. But if you're going to be making a racing game about going faster than the other person, maybe you want another person to go faster. Yeah, than it's a racing mind. game. It's inherently no. a competitive game. Name one online racing <clears throat> game. I dare you. Super Tux Kart. Uh, Need for Speed World. OK, here, here you go. When Super Tux Kart. <laughs> as online multiplayer in years doesn't you right just think about that okay <laughs> that's all i'll say <laughs> all right well that's gonna do it for us coming up next we're gonna bisect our nvidia gpus in two because there's not enough to go around we gotta cut them in half it's like king solomon and the baby i all of a sudden feel like I'm being pressured into doing something that I'm are. not entirely sure I can do it. Oh, I had but, no, uh, no faith in you delivering. <laughs> I just wanted to see you, like, try to think. Just, just, just <laughs> throw him in front of that bus. Yeah. It's, it's, it's coming. Just oh. shove him. Shove him. I'm used to getting kicked in front of Why old the bus sound like a train? Because I had some tape. The ones, <laughs> the ones here in the UK are double deckers. So yeah, uh, the <laughs> what we're getting into though doesn't involve buses. Well, it does involve but buses, it, it, but it, it, it's it does. of the PCIe kind. <laughs> no, 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 Pedro. We need to pay for your bus fare. We need to. We need to. If we're gonna throw you in front of the bus, oh, yes. and you're gonna get dragged a couple stops, we do need to collect we bus fare. We, Listen, we should man, at least get a train. We're trying to say this. It's going to be PCIe by bus. PCIe (laughs) by double decker bus. If you want to pay for Pedro's bus fare, you can head on over to our Patreon. That's patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. You get a lot of cool stuff for being a Patreon. Starting at a. Yeah, starting at a dollar a week, you get access to the show notes. You get access, or you don't get access to the show notes. You get access to the Discord channel. A little bit more, two fifty a week. You get access to the show notes. You can make suggestions, see how the show is being made, issue corrections. Just. Talk to us if you if you want to just like leave comments. We'll read them. They're there, <laughs> indeed. Uh, we have uh, we have other layers. You get uh, and any level of Patreon access gets you access to the pre pre super shows and uh, executive producers get a live video feed though, which is pretty nice. You get your name in the credits, all that good stuff. If you want, you can even buy your way onto the goddamn show. This is all true. We do also want to point out and also want to thank everybody who's 
Sir Scrubbing to us on the Twitch. And uh, yes, also joining us in Discord lands. Yeah, uh, Sir Scrub. Discord like that? Sir Scrub, real good. I, uh, <laughs> I was <laughs> laughing the other day, man. I, I was watching our Discord, and I'm like, sometimes we'll get like these deep technical conversations. And I came back, and people were just posting, and I, I contributed too, of animals in uh, crab outfits. Yeah. Lobster yes. outfits. It's like, <laughs> well, you know, little column it's A, little column never, B. Never a dull moment in the LGC Discord. We got a store, store at linuxgamecast.com. Uh, you can buy yourself t-shirts, you can buy yourself masks, coffee cups, stickers, stickers, hoodies, all that stuff. You can put them over your nipples, you can have mayonnaise everywhere. We got uh, Amazon Wish LGC is not liable for any injuries that may result in misuse of our stickers. It's true. Yeah. Um, LGC I'll, that, that, uh, that audio sample will be Exhibit A in court, so don't even yes. bother. We, we included a disclaimer, we're in the clear, right? Yeah, right. that's how it works. Yeah, uh, Amazon wish, lo- works, wish yeah. Uh If you buy us stuff, uh, you can help uh, put the studios together. Uh, my studio, Ven Studio, Pedro Studio. Uh, we got to thank our mysterious John Stranger man. They sent Ven some stuff. John, yeah, John hooked us up. Uh, I've been using like this ancient, you know, just a lot, like a lot of stuff in this. You know, we don't have a big budget. Well, thanks for our patrons. We do have a budget, which is better than nothing. <laughs> And uh, a lot of repurposed stuff from around the house. And I've been using uh, for show notes monitor, you know, just in um, portrait mode, this ancient, like weird monitor to the point where I had to take a picture of them. Like, you don't understand. This is before they really like put a fine Set point a on size. what widescreen was. Mm-hmm. You know, this is just, like silly long. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. But it was like CFL backlit, hot and nasty, made noise in the audio equipment. And John's like, you know what, man, that little LG monitor, a little 25 inch ultra wide. It's something by something but you know what it makes a good show note monitor and i want to thank you for it he didn't write anything terribly salacious for me to say just says enjoy your gift from john so i gotta put john back on the fine upstanding cannibal wall which i'm sure my two lovely co-hosts will uh entertain you with uh say I, I just wonderful things i just want to see that. if this marker will still work if you're gonna have to shake it up some more <laughs> yeah I no, have th- there was a lot of discussion <laughs> going on about that. Sh- shaky 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 shake <laughs> yeah so yeah um th- thanks a lot um we really appreciate you providing any support if it's buying stuff off the wish list, subscribing to the patreon even just like sharing the show um <laughs> smashing that bell on youtube driving any sort of engagement it really helps us out it gets us out there to more people hopefully they will enjoy the linux gaming nonsense how long does it take you to write the word john I don't know, but it's apparently it's going to be a while. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I also uh, would like to thank the mysterious stranger who gave me this uh, Rode uh, Procaster microphone. I did get in touch with the, per- well, the person got in touch with me, but they're like, oh yeah, thanks for not blowing me up. So you shall not be named. I almost did a loop with that. <laughs> that would have been nasty. Something would have broken. Mm. Hey, we did it. <laughs> now, now it says... On kind of you can get to read it too. It says Yon. Yeah, more J O H N. Yon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yon. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ta-da. Well, we're done the shilling segment. Time to <laughs> oh. move on to news. Uh so we we it's not the fusion technique. It's, it's the it's the separation driver. technique. I it's, have... it's, it's it's like it's like when Kami and Piccolo split. Okay. Last week we were talking about, you know, hell freezing over and NVIDIA. Linus was like, NVIDIA, you're number one again in my book. And he was very happy and very ha- uh, excited about this like we were. NVIDIA has enabled GPU pass through from Linux. So, you know, the developers and all that, and you have you be able to use your, your spare NVIDIA card laying around as well, have them because they're just everywhere now. And um, you, you can on the same system have like a VM with a real GPU acceleration. Well, you know, some people, like strangely enough, don't have extra 30 and 20 series video cards just laying around like most people do. And uh, I, I have like figure. eight. <laughs> well, apparently, I don't know about you guys. check this out. Uh, somebody who goes by the name Dual Coder was sitting back and having a think, going, you know what? I don't think it's right that Tesla cards in the A series that you can basically bifurcate the GPU for like VMs and like, Hey man, you can have uh, this virtual card, this virtual card. And it doesn't work on, you know, all these extra 30 series and 20 series and 10 series cards. We got laying around. So we decided to do something about it. This is called unlock V GPU functionality for consumer grade GPUs. Just V GPU unlock. I suggest in the show notes, there'll be a link. Go read about the nonsense he went through to make this work. But 
if you have, you know, basically any recent GeForce, I'm going to say 10 series, you know, 20 series and 30 series, you will be able to set up a virtual GPU and a VM. Now, you can't do anything terribly fancy. Effectively, what it's going to do is like split a GeForce card into two. So you have half for half, which still, that's better than nothing, right? Yeah, it it definitely is, especially if you're doing like any sort of GP GPU development. But, you know, this is Linux game, Casper, ah. talking about the gaming applications <laughs> of it. Yeah. So, I mean, splitting your CUDA cores in half maybe maybe is not the best idea. If you have like a higher end card, you might be able to, you know, have the equivalent of like yeah, a come on, 9, 930 or something. Else. Let's take one of the 3090s I have prepping the door open. and. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, <laughs> you, you didn't pay seven hundred dollars for the thirty sixty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but but yeah, um, hope th- this this is a way to sort of bypass uh, the restrictions that Nvidia has put on their non uh, Titan cards, and hopefully, hopefully, something will come of this. This has got their foot in the door. They figured out a way to tell as long as long as you have compatible hardware, you can bifurcate the CUDA cores. You can bypass whatever driver checks they have. Um, I look forward to NVIDIA releasing an emergency release next week. Like, no, that doesn't, <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't work anymore. Don't do that. Buy a quadro. Uh, NVIDIA number one. Uh, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't think they can. Yeah. No, NVIDIA, I suppose going forward, they could take extra steps at firmware or VBIOS level to prevent this from working in future GeForce cards. VBIOS the level. Ones yeah, that maybe, are, yeah, I was about to say the ones going out later, maybe. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, outside of that, yeah, they they can't really do much about it at this point. And yeah, it, it it's this is just letting you uh, get the GeForce and Quadro GPUs that share the same chips as the Teslas, so that you can split them and give them out to um, different VMs and still now, have now, one running for the uh, host system. I, I wonder, I wonder too, like how how it actually like manifests in terms of performance on like the virtual machine, um, or like even what it gets exposed as. Because I, I know a lot of a lot of like stuff will check for specific hardware or drivers, and I don't I don't know if you're going to be running the proprietary Invader drivers in a VM with this. Eh. Mm. I don't yeah, know. I think I, you I, have to. Let's be honest. <laughs> and for for the, us, we're looking at this and like. <laughs> That's neat. We're not. I mean, we'll just go shovel off some spare thirty series and. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, but, but you, you were saying things- you're saying they're putting the the ten series back in production now, just to just have something. There on are the shelves. rumors that the ten eighty Ti is going back in just to have something in the market, and it's ridiculous. The ten fifty Ti was ridiculous. back. So Here, here's how ridiculous. <laughs> I saw thirty. I'm desperately trying to find a thirty sixty at within four hundred dollars, and I've. So, so someone on Amazon going for six, my brain went, well, that's reasonable. I, yeah. Like, I, I mean, I paid a thousand for mine. So like, right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, let's talk about some stuff. Pedro was playing on Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, yes, I was. Um, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Never what, did, do you have something that you clearly haven't written down, but what to talk about? <laughs> no, I thought these were in a different order. Never mind. Ignore me. Okay, done. <laughs> okay. Uh, so on Tuesday, I streamed some uh, Devolution X, which is uh, the open source engine re-implementation for the original Diablo game. And uh, one of the limitations that it had previously was that it didn't support the Hellfire uh, expansion or the shareware version or any of the new configurations that those two supported. There we go. Here it is. Hellfire and Shareware are currently supported. Uh, you can also Yay. migrate your saves between uh, the original, just Diablo version, to the Hellfire one. Um, you get uh, a bunch of new customization options in the INI file to enable or disable any and all quality of life things that you might want, including some that they added uh, for the re-implementation, which was not in the original game. Off, man. They're fixing <laughs> Diablo bugs. Yes, right, from, they're, from they're this 20-year-old game. original bugs. <laughs> oh, no, man. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually I'm actually kind of stoked about this because like I have I have a CD copy of Hellfire that I bought forever ago, um, and, yep. and the, the the other cool thing is uh, 
th- back back in the day, you had to like hack. You had to the hack quote unquote, the I and I file to like get the bard and the barbarian classes, which were like two unfinished versions of a class that they were going to implement <laughs> that never did. Uh, these are enabled by default. Uh, I didn't check to see. Do they have unique stri- sprites, or are they still using the warrior and the rogue art? They're using the warrior and the rogue. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe they, that's an improvement for uh, for a new version is to actually have like some dedicated. Yeah, sprites. maybe be, for the future. Neat. Yeah, introduce new uh, new sprites for the for those characters. But yeah, they're still using the just the ones that they used in the um, the original release. The thing that I noticed uh, the most is all of the shortcomings uh, of the original Diablo, which I played Diablo two the most. So while I was playing through this, it's like, oh yeah, I can tell what where the improvements went, and I'm glad that they did it because. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I yeah, tuned in on Tuesday. Rough. I watched it. I had to ask, like, what the hell are you playing? Oh, it's one of those games where you click on a bunch of shit. Have fun. I'm glad you enjoy it. That's it. Yeah. You just click I, on things. It was the what? original mouse destroyer. It was that game. So not only can you destroy your mouse with this, they added 3DS support. So if you're running homebrew on your 3DS, you can destroy your touch screen. Yeah. That says a lot of sausage. Yes. But yeah, six megabytes. That that that's it. Uh, six megabytes. You download it, and you get your uh, Diablos from either the CD version or the GOG version, which is the one I have. And away you go. <laughs> Good. Good news, everyone. If you have an AMD card and you've been um, sitting around going, "Man, I'd really like to AMD all over this card with some Vulcan," you now well you you've been able to. But there's some new features, especially if you have a Navi 12, because the latest version. <laughs> of AMD VLK, which is the open source Vulcan driver for AMD hardware, is uh, not much new. One they, they've fixed some memory leaks, which is always good. And most importantly, Navi 12 support for like the three people who were lucky enough to score some of that nonsense. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and just to, just to clarify, this is the uh, this is the AMD produced uh, Vulcan driver. There's another one that you may be familiar with, Rad V, which most people are on right now because AMD VLK really has a narrow support profile. And trying to get any of the AMD produced drivers running on a modern Linux. Wait, I thought it was just not- for like people who didn't want to install GIMP help files. I mean, no, you, you you need the GitHub help files for this one, so I, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah. Uh, ho- hopefully, this means that like once the once the some of the more uh, newer Navi twelve cards are out in the bout, you can maybe run them on CentOS. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's currently two GPUs out that are actually uh, use the Navi 12 architecture. One of them is the Radeon Pro 5600M, and the other one is the Radeon Pro V520. So, yeah, no, I think less than two people have but, these but GPUs. Shouldn't don't we, don't we all have like the responsibility to like pool our money and get Strider one and tell him to get Blender working on it? <laughs> no, yeah, he no, needs no, to motherfucker. make sure Ep- Luke Epic Come on, man, that was like Epic two Games solid days of entertainment. Yeah, Epic Games cut him a huge ass check. Homeboy can buy his own fucking video cards. <laughs> oh man! All right, so let's talk about Raze. Raze. Yes. The uh, other kind of raise. Well, I, I I don't know. Were they actually trying to do a bit of a wordplay on uh, ray tracing? Uh-huh. But no. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, no. This is the 1.0 version of uh, raise, which is a fork of the original build engine. Basically, it is GZ Doom, but for uh, Duke 3D and its relatives. It's officially out of beta. You can go play it. Uh, it's 1.0, so it should be 100% solid. And if it isn't, well, they do have the issue tracker, so uh, go and report the bugs. On okay, their so GitHub this is going to work like yeah, Shadow notes. Warrior Blood, <laughs> Redneck Rampage, um, Exhumed, Power Slave, all the fun stuff. Yep. Yeah, oh, I like Vul- Exhumed back in the day. Adds, adds, adds the Vulcan support, yeah. which is which is kind of primo. Uh, I wonder, I wonder though, uh, if because uh, Ion Furry is on the build engine too. I wonder if you drop those game assets in here, how that would uh, play. If you can the, the, brute you know force what? some Vulcan support. I was about to say it's, it's going to be kind of interesting to kind of sit back because there's going to be an uh, update to Ion Furry, and uh, we will know some things if we're like added support for Vulcan. Like ah, 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 I see you. Got I it. see you. Strider ah. this repo. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so has this, yeah, it's been out for like 32 alpha releases. Sometimes you you get a 
poop or get off the pot. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, yeah no, I, it's, I, I, okay, I, it, it's done. Let's go. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like seven days to die. It will stay in alpha forever. This is Keeper RL, the Dungeon Keeper roguelike. Uh, it's not open source, but it is available for your download. They have a new version out, Alpha 32. Look at the wiggle uh, orcs. Yeah, the 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 <laughs> playing the uh, Control F Linux game. Hey, Windows and Linux saves are now cross compatible, which is a little confusing why they weren't. That the is a more pain, is bigger pain you? in the ass that you don't think about until you're like, wait, what? <laughs> and, and you know, what? I bet you it's like fucking line endings too. That was the incompatibility. You got to run like DOS to Unix on your fucking dude. File that, to that's it. it. It's capitalization. That's it. Yeah, um, but yeah, uh, they added uh, they added a couple other enhancements, uh, like a choose all button in the pillage menu, because, you know, sometimes it's a little too hard to determine what you want to choose when you pillage. They also added goblins, gobos, goblin faction. It's available. You can play it as well. Uh, it's in the main game. There's a lot more stuff in here. You can peruse this. If you are a Keeper RL fan, all this stuff means stuff to you. I don't play it, so I'm just reporting the news. This is... This is one of those games that the more you look into it, the more you realize just how f- far down the uh, rabbit hole goes. Because <laughs> it's not only it's do not you so have much a rabbit. Th- Go for it. Okay. <laughs> not only do you have the like dungeon keeper style of gameplay that you're the evil wizard and you need to create like a tower to keep the adventurers out and whatnot, you also have the um, army management stuff so it's got rts elements to it and you can just pick one of your dudes and play a roguelike with that dude that that's three different games in one that very nice very well done Mm -hmm. (laughs) i've never played it but it's got wiggle orcs so all right it it does and uh you can see the two female orcs uh wiggling onto the king orc that is asleep dude you don't fall asleep Uh, oh no i mean uh, listen if if it's a toss up between like uh (laughs) over caffeinated jiggle head um never winter nights talking and wiggle orcs oh that will be back next week okay (laughs) looking forward to it now jordan you do the role playing in the Dungeons and Dragons, and all I that do fun stuff. And you like, hey man, I like that you really like tabletop gaming. I like you back Kickstarter projects and stuff like that yeah. in that area. Yeah. So I do. This is right down your rabbit hole. <laughs> It is. I actually found this on the RPG subreddit. Uh, it is a free open source virtual tabletop. So uh, lots of role playing games use minis and have tactical combat, uh, but a lot of them don't. Um, Dungeons of Dragons is mainly the one that does the grid based combat. Uh, there are a few others, but a lot of them are a lot more narrative. Uh, and so there aren't a lot of good tabletops for it. Uh, so this attempts to uh, often often a lot of times when you're playing these games, it, pre- it presents as a lot of like post-it notes and index cards on the table. So this is just a way to sort of digitize that and it's fully free open source you can host your own version it's uh you can use the cloud version it's free um and i just wanted to i just wanted to throw it out there because if you're playing games like fates or your blades in the darks or you're over the edges or any other sorts of like narrative focus games you maybe don't necessarily want all the grid functionality that a lot of existing vtt's provide but you do want to have a thing to like create and collaboratively edit a bunch of arbitrary documents so there you go. Uh, they have. Uh, there's a pretty good option. I haven't played around with it too much because I'm not running any of these games actively right now. But was this uh, uh, that thing you were fucking around with on your stream? No, that was Roll Twenty, which is more sort of grid focused. Okay. Um, so this doesn't this, have grids. This this one doesn't have grids. This is for games that don't use them. Mm. I like that. Not a fan of grids in my games. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well done. So a uh, long time ago, you know, man, probably like nine years ago, we were covering it on this show because we're old. There was a game called Race the Sun that came out. Look at your hands. <laughs> My hands look fine, baby. <laughs> yeah. No one wants to look at that. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, man, this is like, <laughs> look at your hands, man. So yeah, Race the Sun came out and it was just kind of like a, not really infinite flyer, but you just flew and you raced at the sun and you got points and times and all that fun stuff. Then, uh, you know, this was, you got to understand it was a different time, children. Um, it, it was very novel to have a Linux game. I'm like, oh, Kickstarter. And you're actually going to do it and you're going to support it. Or it might have been Indiegogo. I don't remember. And we did. And this was we, like 
distance, right? That that vintage. Oh, it was, I think, maybe pre-distance. Uh, yeah, around the same time ah. that the uh, crowdfunding yeah. campaigns showed up. Yeah. And, <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, they did it, and we got our Linux port, and that was great. And then he did another game after that. Uh, it was the puzzle game, remember? It had grids and shit. He said us Yeah, I don't remember the name. Yeah. But yes. No. <laughs> well, he's back for... A game I like to call Nintendo gonna sue somebody. That's right. Yeah, Whiskers that's- go 100. <laughs> it's already hit the goal, man. So I, I'm really happy to see that. Uh, one of the re- oh, that was another thing. Very reasonable goals from an indie developer. And it's like, hey, 30 grand, I can turn this out. It's already got 33, 687, 722 backers. Still 25 days to go. I like to see it because there's more to better than non zero chance that. We're going to get the game. He's delivered two games and it's going to have Linux support and it's going to have Kitty Cats. Yeah. Uh, space Kitty Yeah. Cats. <laughs> and I follow, I follow Flip Fly on Twitter and he's been doing, he's been sh- posting a lot of videos during the development. And it, yeah, what you're seeing in the trailer there, that's not even the most recent stuff. That, okay. yeah, the, the, Th- there's a lot of games already done. <laughs> no, that that's the look that they're going for. Like oh, the cell shaded. Lo- Style Local thing. co-op? Come on, man! Come on! No. Okay. Well, well, what's the best goal? What's the best goal? Almost gone. No, it's fifteen. Uh. All right. This is one thousand bucks. More. A thousand dollars. Everything uh, you'll be able to activate special. Co- oh, wait. Um. Uh, custom personal shout out. Okay. You could even make involved in personal care. In- exclusive Zoom meeting. Hmm. Bad form. Uh, with the developers during the closed beta phase. <laughs> Gotta use Jitsi. Or something that's not Zoom. Jeez. <laughs> Literally Teams. anything else, please. Oh, Skype. God. <laughs> Earlier this week. Yeah, like the zero day with Zoom that's been out forever that was allowing remote code execution that a white hat finally came out this week. And like, yeah, yeah, that's been around for a while. We found it and got some money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't use yeah. Zoom, kids. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, as, assuming that uh, Nintendo doesn't sue them for trademark infringement, because that logo, yeah, that's uh, that's cutting it a little close. <laughs> so what's just the cost? Uh, for instance, go, twenty bucks. Twenty bucks, you can get a copy of it. All right, uh, that'll be yep. worth it. Kicks yeah, that's kind of what they're charging like for. Uh, the sun. Uh, yeah, this looks very much like uh, Race the Sun, but with a bit more game to it. So mm. yeah, can, it- can we get like a retro like <laughs> SNES mode where? Struggles to churn out like 14 verbs. Yeah. Can, can do hardware emulation for like mode seven. Yeah. yeah. Super effects, but you know, there were two games made with a super effects chip. Yeah. Well, it was like the stupid, like racing little drive around. It was dumb. You Wasn't one of the Mega Man or something? Or? No. Incorrect. No? no, I don't know. We'll argue about it during the break. Send, send us your hate mail, right? Like, <laughs> we need yes. to talk about Twitch's plan for addressing service off service misconduct. That's right. If you do anything outside of Twitch, we just want to bring this up since we are on Twitch. Maybe get your thoughts about it. They, um, how do we want to put this? Uh, can I use their words? Uh, taking how they plan to address severe misconduct that impacts the Twitch community, but happens off Twitch. So anything that you do in your personal life on another site can come back to bite you in the ass. They want to make you aware of that. And also they're up to including, you know, the obvious stuff like don't be extreme, extremely violent terrorist activities. Uh, what leadership or membership? I'm in a known hate group. Um, Sexual don't, stuff. don't be recruiting yeah. for the clan yeah. pretty much man or credible threats against twitch don't threaten twitch or including the twitch staff don't threaten them offline and uh it's still kind of open of course it's twitch it's like eh, and we leave vague stuff at the end so eh, if we pick up something else we're gonna do it now i was reading through this and like and we will also involve law enforcement and this can be retroactive so like if they decide to go digging in your shit well but oh, they don't find anything. I mean, if they're digging in your shit and they find you, you know, simping for the clan. <laughs> yeah, no, there there will be those situations where people had that coming, but at the same time, the I don't know what the actual um, wording or final wording of this particular directive will be, but I do look forward to when they try to pull this with someone with a lawyer on retainer mm. or Leonard French 
pretty please. I know you don't watch this, but uh, in case you do, you know, I can dream. They uh, have someone, 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 someone clipped no, the this and forwarded to them. About this is that they have a law enforcement response team. This is Twitch. This is Twitch. This is the same company that for the last eight years went, we're special. We don't have to worry about DMCA takedowns or anything like, oh, what yeah. do you mean we have to worry about us? But <laughs> right. oh, well, right. you guys I want an actual lawyer right. to pick this apart, please. <laughs> but be, be, beyond, beyond that, this, this is why I believe that this is honestly a toothless proposition because their team is going to be small. They're saying, oh, we're going to have we have to like seriously investigate every single claim, which means if you if you submit a claim for this, you're likely going to maybe get a no email in six to eight months when someone finally gets a chance to look at it. I don't I don't really foresee this being as much due and gloom as Ven does, but I, I, there, there's always potential for abuse for any of these. Yeah, I don't think I'll live. I will not go as like doom and gloom. This is going to become, you know, what you're saying is definitely going to be part of it. It's going to be a shit show of epic proportions, 100%. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> it is going to, knowing that this is in place, I think this would have been a neat thing to keep in place and not tell people about. Because now all of a sudden people have people who normally wouldn't be like, ah, oh, man, I bet they, you did something in your, they have an incentive now. They're like, hey, by the way, mm-hmm. <laughs> by the way, I mean, get out there and get looking because you go to do it anyway. But hey, there might be a reward. We're not talking about people like us. They don't, they don't think like rationally, semi-rationally anyway, like me and you. These are people with nothing fuck all to do with that. Hey, we get a nice little motivated army of this and it, I think it's just there's quite good. a few of them, uh, you know, minority as they may be. They're very active. Mm. Yeah, I, I I still don't I don't I still don't think that will really result in anything unless there's like something insanely high profile. We, we'll the, see. The, we the, just wanted the, everyone the, the, to the, be the, the, yeah. aware of it. So, yeah, yeah. that's okay. it. All right. Coming up next, we got to hack the planet. Or hack the city, hack the grid, move some boxes. We got to move some boxes around. Welcome back to the Chairquisition. This week we're taking a look at Hack Grid, developed by Daisy Games, just done on Godot. Haha, how about that? You can pick it up for about two bucks US. What is it? Hack Grid is a puzzle game and love letter to DOS gaming. Only one piece must remain on the board. Each type of piece has its own set of rules. Retro Sound Blaster 16 style audio will accompany you throughout the game. Hack the Grid! We gotta thank Daisy Games for sending us some keys over Curator Connect. Thanks a lot for that. Uh, So yeah, let's get into it. Pedro, what'd you think about block sliding puzzles? I, uh, I thought they... Actually, uh, surprisingly, you know, it's a puzzle game, so of course I liked it. But <laughs> over here on the uh, Ryzen 7 3700X with the GTX 1080, it V-Syncs correctly at 144 hertz, 2560 by 1440, as you can see on uh, screen if you're watching the video version. Uh, you click and you drag, everything moves, so you, the mouse input is working as expected. I was worried because the ui doesn't have a lot of feedback when you press the buttons it's like yes the screen will change but the button itself will not do like the the press animation or anything you just click on it and things happen oh okay but when you get into game proper it actually works as intended so um I'll, I'll give it that. And uh, the description does say it's like, oh, yeah, Sound Blaster 16 sounds. It, it, it does exactly sound like a 486 with a Sound Blaster 16 and no MIDI expansion card plugged in. None whatsoever. Uh, now, for the fun, yeah, I am a sucker for a good puzzle game. And it only has 60 levels, but I still haven't gotten past uh, level 30. Some levels, they're quite quick you can just get through them in one go others yeah you're going to have to uh well you're either going to sit through them and try to solve them via trial and error uh, until you realize that oh wait a second this is actually quicker if i actually do it properly um and you feel really clever when you do it right up until the really hard one that comes after and just knocks that idea out of your head No, you're not that clever. You might have felt like that, but you're not. The music in general sounds, uh, the sliders were all the way down in the options menu. 
by default. And I thought that was a bit weird, but then I turned them up. I started recording. And by the time I was done recording, it's like, okay, those go back down because I don't need them. <laughs> and you know what? For the price, I honestly can't fault it. It is a genuinely good puzzle game. And for, yeah, two dollars or a pound seventy, it's pretty good. Three chairs. <laughs> Yeah, on uh, Fedora 3364-bit with the <laughs> i7-6700K GT, or not GTX, uh, the RX 5700 XT uh, runs out of the box. Same with the R9-3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti. But dear lord, that fake CRT is atrocious. Went into the options <laughs> menu, turned that off immediately. It's so bad. Also, on a UHD monitor, it starts up in an itty-bitty window. It's not the worst, but, you know... Uh, there's the play the play the find the window game um i'm pretty sure you could actually run this game in your terminal so graphically no real problem here <laughs> there are bleeps and bloops all the songs are named after dos command line utilities uh and you listen to them at first then you go oh they're okay and then you tune them out because you're trying to solve the fucking puzzle because you feel like an idiot because you can't turn a pink block into a blue block and yeah, controls, click and drag, pretty easy. This could be a mobile game. Probably is at some point. Um, fun. Yeah, after after this week, after a lot of brain exertion, A, trying to finalize how shit, B, trying to finish all my work so that I can take a week off, making me do topology. It's kind of a bad idea. I'm already feeling stupid. I don't need this game making me feel a lot worse. That's it. They're, they're good puzzles. And that that's kind of it. That's the review. When, when you're buying a puzzle game you're playing a puzzle game the chief question is are the puzzles challenging do you have fun playing them and the answer is yes and that's really about all the review you need for this game um and it's two bucks so if you are a puzzle game fiend and you are looking for something to um to you know fill time this is uh, you would have a hard time saying no to this three chairs well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I threw it against my little bit of a juggernaut, which is running on Debian Bus. No, not Buster. Uh, Bullseye right now. And that's a AMD Threadripper 1920X NVIDIA 2060 with 32 gigajoules of memory RAM. And hey, I mean, it launched uh, full screen window work. No problem. You can disable the hipster CRT shader. Good on you for that, because, yes, I agree with everyone who hooks that was atrocious. Um, it's full metal programmer art, but I mean, it's functional nonetheless. And. I gotta say, when it comes to the soundtrack, if there's such a thing as beep boop jazz, if that exists, this has it. Because there's parts in the soundtrack where you're like, you're just like fucking around on the keyboard. There's, there's no, this is not coherent, not even at all. Like, I, I had to stop the game, like, where are we going with this? Like, nowhere. Okay. Um, yeah, performance, it was acceptable. I mean, it put the thread ripper under. 3.9 to 4% load with everything else running, so I couldn't really tell about this game by itself. I wasn't that curious. Fun, I made it to level 20, bitches. I did. <laughs> Living proof that you can brute force your way and get at least to level 20. <laughs> because only two or three times did I have to like sit back and like, I need to think about this real hard because, yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit devious, man. Now, it does mix things up a bit, but not much. Um with the you know eventually at one point you get in like a third sp well, a space is that the right thing to call it where you can like kind of get a free move you know that yeah it's yeah. a block Been that to, but you can't move. move you can't move yeah. that one yeah. yeah so all right i don't mind that you know i look at a puzzle game like this and we all like puzzle games for some weird reason i didn't even know that about myself until we started getting good puzzle games like hey i kind of like these <laughs> um <laughs> I look at it like this, any puzzle game, uh, you know, if I was being paid to play this for eight hours a day, would I consider it work? With that grid? Mm, oh, oh, kinda. Not, not necessarily 100%. On, on one hand, after about an hour, I'm done with it. You know, 20 levels in, I'm like, okay, I got a feel for this. I'm not dying to come back to it. But on the other hand, it's a buck 99, so I... Hey, I got 20 levels out of this. I'm good. Um, you know, it's something I can always go back to and just like tinker. If I just need that mild brain scratch as opposed to like a Steven sausage roll, like raw reaming. <laughs> Sticking the sausage in your ear yeah. repeatedly. Yeah. This is something I can be like, hey, I feel clever. I figured that out. I'm like, fuck this game. Um, also, also, I, I, I do. I, I got to say, man, 
April Fools, it's over. So you, you can remove the uh, soundtrack available for purchase link on the store page. Somebody might accidentally <laughs> buy it. Um, uh-huh. I just want to throw that in. <laughs> See, yeah. I like the soundtracks for a lot of games. Oh, I, I wouldn't I go out of my way to buy this one. Yeah, right there. Three chairs. You know what? I might buy it for somebody like a gift it to them if I didn't like them. <laughs> I, I, you, you can just buy it for people, period. It's it's two bucks, right? Well, yeah, you can buy the whole game, but uh, and it's like an extra fuck you if I send you the uh, gift copy at 99 cents for the soundtrack. No, no, you, you, you just send them the soundtrack. Yeah, 99 cents, baby. Exactly. <laughs> so, final thoughts. I mean, we, we got to play stuff like this. I know it's always weird because we, we get the inevitable. I'm um, like, or as you play like next week's the big week because we're going to be getting the Metro. But we play games like this because you never oh, fucking know. You could understand that like <laughs> Hollow Knight was sent to us and we didn't touch it for a couple of weeks because like I was some little fucking 2D platform game and whatever. And <laughs> like, holy shit, this is Hollow Knight 60 hours later. And um, this. It does what it says on the tin. It's fun enough. I mean, it, it's a good little puzzle game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, like any any complaints you can reasonably have about this game are immediately counteracted by the, it's two bucks, right? Mm-hmm. Like, what, 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 why, why, what, are, what the fuck are you complaining about? It's two dollars. It's a sliding block puzzle game, mm-hmm. and they actually put some yeah. thought into the puzzles, which is really all you can hope right. for. Yeah, that, that, that's where all of the game here is. It is purely in the mechanics, because look at it. it, it, it it's <laughs> and you can listen to it, and it's not there either. There's no narrative to speak of. Oh, you're a hacker. You're moving things around to hack shit. Uh-huh. Sure, that works. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah, sl- slide block into other block. <laughs> all right. Hack us into some hacks. Email. All right. Well, coming up next, uh, we're going to talk about how to best pirate your Blizzard games under Linux. All right. Yeah. That was a uh, reasonably sized show. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the longest as far as, <laughs> as, far as we're concerned. Uh, we've had much longer than that. But hey, chances are, even with that short, quote unquote, amount of time, you probably found something that you like to call us out on. We probably said something that was so wrong you just couldn't find any words to describe it or maybe you can because if you can find some words to describe it that sentence was all over the place yeah, it was uh, it went places <laughs> i mean i listen if i would be honest i was over here fucking with the dog while you were going um. <laughs> okay uh <laughs> but yeah if you find some words to describe just how badly i cocked up that particular sentence go on over to linuxgamecast.com hit the contact button make sure lgc weekly is the show that you're sending your hate mail to otherwise we may misinterpret it as constructive feedback or uh you can ask jordan about the only fans page that hasn't been updated for a while see linus tech tip stole our idea he, he has an OnlyFans now. Yeah, is he is he posting <laughs> undressed like computers? No, it's a like, little darker than that. He's posting like uh, sexy computers with like oil being rubbed on them and shit. What's a sexy computer? I don't know. <laughs> if you if you know if you know what a sexy computer is, send us some hate mail, please. All right, with photos. <laughs> so we got a couple of questions, uh, maybe a hint, and definitely an allegation. Starting out with Diablo Triple X. Uh, now, this is from Arvin. Arvin writes in. And this is directly at Pedro when you were playing earlier because I was like, "What the hell is a?" x thing devolution x, x. yes <laughs> so you were streaming devolution x on twitch how to run diablo 2 on Linux? question mark does wine work with BattleNet? question mark vum question mark that's a lot of <laughs> <laughs> yes uh to all of those uh you can absolutely run uh the BattleNet client with um wine uh you can just run if you download uh if you typed in your cd keys into your blizzard account you can just download the little installers that they give you download those the multiplayer works uh the you can run it in a vm yeah absolutely We'd, 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 be, we'd be remiss. There there are two projects that might have you covered. There's Open D2 and there's Open Diablo 2, uh, unrelated to each other. Uh, but I you can just also went to Lutris and I'm like, hey, man, do you work? That, and Lutris is like, I work. 
That is such a French yeah. option, though. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe you want an American option. <laughs> I'd, well, apparently just got <laughs> downloaded from a year ago. I don't know. There's, uh, there's always those posts. Uh, yeah, Lutris, do mind the comments. It doesn't uh, work. In if you run into an issue, <laughs> if you do run into an issue, you can check the comments. Maybe someone else has uh, run into the same thing as you. But you should not go look at the comments before trying it for yourself. It's kind of the nature of the beast when it comes to wine. <laughs> well, well, I, yeah, yeah. It's like wine. Here's the problem, though. I mean, you can look at those comments. Those comments can be like perfectly Useful, yeah. legit, too. Yeah, yes. look, look at look look at Proton DB. It is worth it to look at the comments. Do a Control F on your distro mm -hmm. of choice just to see if someone you has run into it. any specific issues. Right? Proton DB got like nine thousand times better when they made it. Like you had to sign in with an account, and it actually did a system check. Other than oh, mm -hmm. well, I tried thing ah. didn't work. You know, I'm lonely. Talk to me. Arch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Manjaro, uh, <laughs> arch, arch, but not arch. Jordan, but not Gamorous. Do you ever feel like you have a problem with controls? I completely lack control in all aspects of my life. FX Boy Forever says, little advice if I might ask, bum stick drift through wear and tear has become intolerable on the current X clone <laughs> controller. Best replacement currently available, in your opinion? I'm I'm a big fan of the dual shock. I know they're super expensive. Uh, but if you can find if you can still find one of these guys, I say grab it. They're super nice controllers. Not if you get one in hooker red. <laughs> or get one in hooker red. Now, in be all it, fairness, the battery on this thing doesn't stay charged, but I don't know. I don't use yeah. it. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I gotta say, out of the current gen, of my, uh, out of the current gen of controllers, I think Dual Shock Four is still my favorite. Yeah, the Dual Shock Four is still very much the best. I did. Uh, FX Boy asked us on Twitter this question, and I. Well, I su sent him the suggestion that everyone in chat realm uh, seems to scream the... Uh, you, do you mean Mir? Yes. <laughs> you Mir told him that Jill. the latest previous gen version of the Xbox One X S <laughs> controller is, in fact, the best one to get. I, I'm looking for a no, cheap one no, in I a bargain not. bin. They don't exist. No, I, these I, things are still like 60 I bucks. I told him yeah. that the uh, GameSir T4 Pro was the, uh, the, the Amazon one that Luna everyone controller? in our Discord, <laughs> the one that everyone in our Discord sings the praises of. And uh, he ended up getting one, uh, the wireless versions. This is not the GameSir specific one. This is the Bimunk. <laughs> Get your 3D printed Which is controller awesome. out of the shot, man. Come on. <laughs> but yeah, uh, apparently, and according to his opinion, because he did end up getting one of these, and it says, oh, that 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 actually works really nice. It's really light. The thumbsticks are uh, really light, as are the triggers, but they're solid. There's no drift. There's no weirdness. And they work out of the box on your Linux. Mm. So... That that's yeah. an idea. If you don't like the dual shot, um, that is fuggy. <laughs> yeah, the fuggy controller holding up. Uh, it is work uh, holding up very well. The uh, chromed um, cheapest ah, controller I could find on Amazon. Mad, Mad Cats, man, <laughs> it's it's still alive. They're still they're still they're still kicking. It glows. In spirit. The, yeah, the chrome bits on the D-pad have starting to wear out after like 50 hours of playing outward. Oh, I was about to say, so I really like the way they weathered the uh, D-pad there. That's uh... <laughs> No, no, no. That That's all my fingers rubbing up the chrome <laughs> they're, they're bits. They're covered in Pedro <laughs> thumb juice. Oh, yeah. It's, it's still better than Jordan <laughs> thumb juice. Mm, 100%. That's, that's more like a uh, Jordan River. You just held up your controller. We know exactly what that looks like, that, too. That controller was originally blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so yeah on that bombshell let's go ahead and cue the music we gotta bounce the hell out of here uh speaking of hell you want to get in touch with me just at vin stone on twitter or you know at me in our discord i'm there uh at vin at mass.linuxgamecast.com i'll get back to you send a note over our contact form i will get directed to the right person I'm Jordan Swung. I am the man with oily hands, and you can find me at the Burning Fool on Twitter or twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. They're so moist. So moist. Mm, moisturize well, me. Uh, <laughs> we're about to find out who exactly is bothered by that uh, word. Uh, I oh, am moist. Mateusz. I am the man with the oily hair, which uh, means I have to shower a lot. Uh, if you'd like to uh, Why are you share scared of, like, your slipping tips off the as to how to get rid of the 
oiliness uh, of your hair, feel free to hit me up on Twitter. That's uh, at an account at four. That's F O U R. Let me know. I'm going to introduce that. Yeah, uh, the buzz cut. I can fix this. <laughs> you got solutions. Vince got I'm, problems. Uh, I mean, you just need to change your shampoo, man. May, or maybe use Gotta shampoo. Fire everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye bye. Here's some credits because you're I awesome. Do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those things. Also, yes. <laughs> well, thank you to all the people who are enduring us, at least. Enduringly terrible? Definitely. We gotta thank our party patrons. Our lone advisor, Omegas. Omega indeed. Ooh, Got our executive producers. <laughs> Aldius, Barb Ramp, Scott Michaud, Mr. Fox Dog, Arthur, Theron, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Mike T, and Drummer. And our lone little Nike fan still holding it strong, Darkwing. Gotta keep Chicago Ooh. kicking ass, baby. And all the sea monsters, Jack B, Renault Lepage, Ryder X Machina, Trudgy, Veritanuda, Justin, and Frostclaw. Look at our and death, of death notes. Nova, Nova K, K, System T, Craig A, Smashly Craig. I'm gonna need some help with these chairlings, Jason B, Lytix Neuro. Uh, <laughs> Nubbin, Mr. Alert, Simba. <laughs> Ha, S. Michelle, Door to Door Geek, <laughs> Douglas Mark Kat, w. Stephen, Michael W, Door to Door Ra- Geek, Rasmawada, H, Belek, A. Jade, W, Lupus, Swippy, Hey, <laughs> and Zeno, Incredible, and that yeah. turtle Incredible forever. Lyric. <laughs> Dementor. <laughs> I, 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 guess, I guess Nixon's pyramid and ceased AJ's to exist. Getting so small, <laughs> no now it doesn't even exist anymore. Oh. But yeah, no more uh, Nixon's pyramid. Murmur, no, 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 words. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Pyramid power! I've been drinking! Drinking pyramids! <laughs> Pyramid juice. Five dudes.